Hello everyone, this is Zhang Ziyang. Welcome to today's tutorial of Walking Tracker. I'm your teaching assistant. Thanks Prof Ray for giving me this opportunity in sharing my experience of the Walking Tracker. So now let's get to the tracker itself. Our goal today is to study the biomechanical motion of joints during our walking. Uh, you know, to our different joints when we are walking, the they will they will serve in different motion behavior. Our goal is to uh, test uh, what is the exact angle like in the motion in, in the joints when walking. So our content will be source data. We will have the normal human walking video. We need you to have a camera for for. Uh, capturing the video and we need someone who can walk fluently during this someone should be yourself after we get the source video we will have we will welcome the track our software the application today to handling the video to check the uh, some key points in the source data in the source video after we check them then we will apply some data processing tools like Excel to interpret from the uh, data to some plots our human can understand. So this is the outline. And let's get to the some preparation. For the source video, we would like you to, to get a parallel walking. The plane where the camera is located should ideally be parallel to the plane where the person is located, the person is walking. Otherwise, it will result in too much calibration work later in the video processing. So we recommend you to walk parallelly as the uh, camera plane. During the walking, you better mark yourself with some high contrast things, for example, like the red tape. This tape should better mark the mid torso, should mark your hip, knee, ankle, and toe. So different, different points, when you connect them, it will form a vector. Then you can calculate the angle of different vector when they are connected. So this is the source video part. We need you to, to do a parallel walking. We need to, to mark these are two. After this part, you may cut the source video into some interesting part as you as you want. First of all, you go into the camera's uh, view and then you step out of the camera's view. You cut the interested short piece. Uh, you will get several steps. Let me let's, let us have a look. This is me walking along this way. You see the parallel walking is uh, visualized, is observed here. And what I want to remind you here is you'd better walk for three steps. So I marked here my my right leg. So we have several dots, and this is the first strike. From the first strike to the second, so this considered as the first step. You know, from the first from the first strike to the second strike, first step, and when the third strike, it considered as the second step, and very last. Eventually, this is the final step and the final strike. So in order, in order to have a parallel experiments, we need you to have three steps, including four strikes here. After we get a, vi if we get a video with the interested part, we'll use the track application to check the video. So we will have the mark. In order to use the auto track function, the, we need you to have a uh, like the marked we have already emphasized before to get the to get the the sets much more accurate 
I suppose you have all remember how to calculate the vector uh, based on the points we have and also the angle. So we have the hip joint, we have the knee joint, we have the ankle joint. So during each walk cycle, during each steps, we all we so as to the trial. So we, and then we get the ankles behavior, what the the theater looks like during the process. So this is the final ideal plot we are about to obtain during this process. So I suppose until now, I have fully uh, illustrated to you what our video, the working process would be like and what is the final result we are about to, oh, um, what is our final goal of this study. So later on, I will introduce to you how to use the track application to mark the video and how to process the data. So the second part would be tracker application itself. First of all, using any kind of searching engine, we just key in the word tracker facelet. So we will have the tracker video analysis, the web page. We also, I will send this web, web link to you later on, and we may try tracker online, or we in, we just uh, based on the operation operating system we are using right now and download any kind installers by ourselves. For me, I'm using the uh tutorial. I'm using the Windows system, so I just download this one, and it won't make it won't not take a very long time because it's uh, quite small. So what is Tracker? It will introduce you. Tracker is a video analysis and modeling tool. Uh, it will still have some, if you meet some problem with the installing or using the track, you can proceed to the um, discussing forum or find some um, other uh, things by them, by the developer. I will also uh, send you some YouTube link for how to use it if you want to learn it by yourself. Mm. Right now, I will just stop the the downloading um, because I have already installed it by my own. You may select it wherever you you favor to install this application. I will just stop it. So uh, jump into the jump into the session of uh, where I'm where I am doing is the uh, start track this part tutorial. I have the already cutted video and also and also a Excel uh, prepared for it. So uh, I would we will directly go to the software. First of all, you will have a untitled page. This is a, a just a, a normal page. And then you click on this open file chooser and to choose some file based on right now, tutorial. And we have the cut video. It will take a while because the my cut video is recorded within a higher quality, so it might uh took much more longer time to uh, do the frame processing when you are about to let the tra tracker to analysis analyze it. Right now, you can see uh, I've already get the the application. I've already get the cutted video um, based on the my previous track. So it will divide it into frame by frame. And as we talked so far, here for my first strike is considered as the first step. Uh, you may press the ALT in your keyboard to see where is the exact position your feet comes to touch the ground. So this is this one should be touch the ground or maybe you click one step back, you still touch the ground. 
So maybe another step back. Okay, so this is amplitude you see here. And um, what we're trying to do here is use this touching point as the very beginning of the whole step. So number 97, it will be set to the front as the beginning. So how about the, the last part? The last part should be where you step just about to touch the ground. Still no touch. Touch. About one step back, no touch. Let's have a much more deeper look, no touch. No touch. So this is a step about to touch, which will be considered as our last frame. Let's have a, let's just, uh, Recalculate it. Is it true? Oh no. Yeah. Three, four, three should be the last step to touch the ground. Okay. So right now we have the whole streamline of the from step in to out. We may have a quick look about whether it is true or not. So from here. We find our step. Lift your lift your right leg, touch the ground. Lift your left leg, touch the ground, and go. Okay, I will stop here because it's uh it's just repeatedly. Uh, right now, although we have we so far we have the we have the things here. We know what is going on with the uh what going on with the step. Also, we define the frame. So, how do we track each mark? Let's introduce the track function. Sorry. So the track function, we knew one point mass here. Point mass may be a. So we press the shift. Uh, we keep on press the shift so it will locate our cursor will become uh, a square one. We point this one, we point this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right now it forms several dots here. So if we use the visualize to see the path, it will uh, tell us what is the path looks like and it will become a visual point. Since from the frame uh, 90, so, uh, 90 plus to frame 300 plus, it's a long procedure. We may have uh, 200 above frames so far. What I'm uh, recommend you here is to use the control and shift together. So you see here the cursor becomes a, a square or uh, becomes a, a circle one. When you upon you click on it will suddenly trigger a all tracker with a mass A position. You search it, then it will form it will tell you what is the template looks like. Uh, what is the next frame matches about this point? So we may click on this. And we we see from here, next one is uh, still the same. So we accept it. Since the, uh, the program uh, have the auto mark part, so we may load down the threshold so you can uh, so you can fit much better because the 
uh, within this region, this marker is far away. This marker is is still far away. So we it doesn't matter if we use the auto marker with a low stress hold. So we accept it and keeps going. So you see, uh, right now it will it will automatically go with the marker itself. So what I recommend before is useful because you are uh, you are using something with a high contrast. So the program will be much more supportive in to this end in recognizing the marker. So we accept because the marker uh stands for the a joint uh the joint set the joint position right now you see uh you cannot find is because the previously uh due to the light source this one is this marker is within the shadow so the template cannot be found within uh in this well lighted uh scenario so we try again Press Control plus Shift and touch the marker point. And then it turns to shadow. So we touch it again. Uh, please be patient during the process because the program may not be that kind of support here. If you are uh if you are experiencing you are capturing your video with the very, very uh complicated lighting scenario so you see although it's still visible by us human being i still need some i still need to intervene it during the process except okay again Not very smart. <laughs> In this way, we are about we are. Uh, I recommend you to adjust some of the parameter, so you can fit much better. The reason why we are not going to use the left leg is because the left leg, uh, during the plane. It will be blocked by the other leg. So until frame three four three, the path is over. So we may have a quick look on it. The path is formed. So it comes to the beginning. We rename this one as our knee. So your knee point, we set up the, uh, I don't think we need to set up here. So let's go. You see from the big, very beginning is that we manually uh, marked everything. So from now on, then you go in, the auto tracker will help you to check everything and within your several key, friends it will prompt out some message here to let you know oh this way is you in have already intervened i can say it's quite good so uh, the more contrast you obtain from the very beginning the much better results the much more at the accurate results you will obtain here. And that's why uh, we keep the mention we need a parallel uh, playing, parallel uh, video capturing since the very beginning. Uh, this makes sense when you're about to process this video. So in total, we have five markers during the whole process, during the procedure. Um, I'm not going to mark everything here because i've already done it before this is the uh, also introduce another uh, original point uh, but it, it doesn't matter because later on when we calculate the vector uh, this will be 
uh, th this will not uh, contribute to the vector. So from the starting point until the very end, you mark different uh, different parts, maybe not a waist, maybe an ankle, maybe toe, maybe hip. No, but it seems not change here. So uh, what I'm trying to explain here is that after we obtained all this data, this is T means the second, and also the X with the X, Y with the location, the coordinate itself. So simply we select everything, we press control plus A and control plus C. We copy the all the data. What is it? Uh, maybe we'll start from the top. So we copy everything and pull it over here to some new Excel. We paste it here. And we maybe using you know, like, like numbers, or maybe you prefer you use it like general. It doesn't matter. So we will have the exact time, x coordinate, y coordinate here. So you press everything, you get all your you get all your notice uh, over here, and so you just copy and paste your every point, and you do the calculation. For example, right now I have already get all my my main sheet here, the from the toe, ankle, knee, hip, waist. I have everything. Then for trial one means the first step. Uh, what I would like to also mention here is that the how do you define each step? It's the first step that you go here and to the to this part when you hit the floor. So this will be the last frame of your first step and this should be the beginning of the second step so you should divide your timeline to a different section so we have a main sheet we divide it according to the time to time one to to percentage so then the the x will be unified. So you have a toe, ankle, knee, hip, waist, and you calculate waist to hip, hip to knee, knee to ankle, and ankle to toe. Upon you have these three, and then you got the angle based on the vector. I should mention here is that um, due to the extraction of each joint, you should def uh, you should think of what is the zero degree of each joint? This would be something you need to think about. So um, by the very last, you have this, uh, you have the in total time and you have a theater one, two, three stands for uh, hip joint, stands for knee joint, stands for the ankle joint. So stands for each joint, you will get this, you, you will get this data plotted. And what we want for the result is the plotted uh, figures. So that's all for the tracker set. Let me go back to the slides. I will send you the useful links with these three. And should you have any question, if you are feeling anything challenging during the process, uh, please feel free kindly to contact me uh, based on my email. So I'm glad to share with you about that. Thank you for your attention.